good morning. Thank you all for coming out. Um, we really, really appreciate the support for the Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. There are so many people in our area that benefit from this, and we really do appreciate you being here. Thank you all to all of our sponsors. Uh, you do a phenomenal job in supporting us and putting this all together. So with that, if we're ready, everybody have fun. Keep an eye out for some of those people that are visually impaired. We do have some that are in the crowd. And, and just enjoy yourselves. We'll see you at the end. Ready? I'm Rick Stevens, the Executive Director at the Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. I want to thank everyone for participating in today's Run for Sight. We had a record number, almost 390 runners. You can hear some of the walkers still finishing in the background. This is a wonderful event where the money raised helps individuals with uh, blindness or low vision uh, achieve the independence and dignity that they want to achieve in their lives. So it's a growing problem. We appreciate the community support. Thank you very much. Hello, I'm Jennifer Schofield, race director for the Run for Sight. This is Sean Cook, my co-director for Run for Sight. We put this on every year. This is our seventh year to benefit the Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. They help West Michigan uh, with low vision, so we want to give back to them and all the good work that they do. So every year we have um, done a 5K run walk for them and all the proceeds go to them. So it's very important to get awareness out and their name out because they're barely unknown in the community on the good work that they're able to do. Hi, we would like to thank our sponsors, um, PNC, the Raymond Group, Essler, Shoreline Vision, Access Health. These are sponsors that made today happen for us. Um, without them, we couldn't put this on whatsoever. So. I'm Ken Otto. I'm one of the uh, ophthalmologists at Shoreline Vision and great to be out here. It's such a beautiful morning and we're uh, proud to be part of this. It's uh, great to raise awareness of vision problems and uh, we see this every day in our practice and uh, it's nice to uh, be part of a greater effort to raise awareness for uh, Association for the Blind. Hi, uh, I'm Dr. John Oltine, another one of the ophthalmologists at Shoreline Vision and We've been a sponsor for this race now for seven years, and uh, we had another record year this year. We had 390 uh, participants, so it's just awesome to see all the people out here, all the volunteers. We greatly appreciate all the work that people have done to get this race going, and it's for an awesome cause. The Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired just does so many great things for people, and uh, we're just very happy to be a part of it. Dr. Webster? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Webster here. I'm one of the ophthalmologists also. I don't have much to add. I think they said everything, but it's been a beautiful morning here. We're so happy to have everyone out here supporting the cause um, and another great day. My name's Tim Barron, one of the ophthalmologists at Shoreline Vision. Again, a fabulous day for the Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired uh, agency that's near and dear to our hearts. We. Uh, try our best to grow this every year. All the participants doing a fabulous job. Things that you can do for your vision. All of these exercise participants taking good care of themselves, uh, exercising and just doing a great job to, to lower their incidence of macular degeneration and other health issues. So again, we're very thankful for everyone who participated and more even in the future. Thank you. Our young ladies 
nine and under, our gold medalist is from Whitehall, eight years old, Samantha Fleener. In the 10 to 14, our males, all from Muskegon, our gold medalist, Andrew Dial.